hello and welcome to my channel in today's video we are going to look at how to download and install and even use cam studio to record our screen which is a very good and fantastic alternative for uh, camtasia screen recorder so you can see it's an open source software free desktop recorder streaming video software it's completely free so this is it cam studio recently added you can just click on it and it's going to bring in the window Okay, you can see it over here. So the first thing you see to your top left is file. You can record directly. You can pause, you can stop, and you can exit from this file option. Next is region. How do you want to record your screen? Is it a given specified region or a fixed region? You can specify the width. You can specify the height. And once you are done, you can just click on OK. Or you can drag corners to pan. You can drag corners, maybe the specific areas you want to you want to record. If you don't know the dimension, you can drag the, the corners to just easily define it. Then you can round down to even numbers. You can round them down to numbers. If you want, you can approximate. And then you can choose the location. You can select a given location directly and it will just fix that location and record that specific location okay so you click on ok and still on the region you have the option to record a window if you're working on a specific window you can record that particular window only or you can record full screen which is what we are going to do record the entire screen okay say so at the beginning you have to set region and let's say we are going with the full screen which is the entire screen we're going to record the entire screen next to it is the options you have the option to check out the video options on video options you have the option to specify what kind of compressor you want to use TechSmith screen capture codec or others you can select accordingly i usually prefer the TechSmith because i have used camtasia and i have seen the quality of the screen recording it has given me i'm so uh, excited with it and then the quality you can go as far as 100 or 95 depending on how much quality do you prefer you can configure over here as well and change the compression and foster the compression you can just do so some editing over here and at any given point you can return back to default if you and uh, next is you have some keyframes to define for example over here you can you have the frame rate you can adjust all the maximum and the minimum frame rates over here by just dragging and dropping and i think 30 is a good number or you can go as far as 50 as the frame rate the playback frame rate and the capture frame rate also 20 is good but you can go as far as uh, as far as 30 if you want but let's say we'll go with 50 20 okay and let's say okay and then you can go down again this is the video options you can come to cursor options if you want to enable cursor while explaining your tutorial you can hide the cursor or you can show it from here from this tool you can highlight and enable or disable and then you can show you can highlight the cursor by just selecting on this and it's going to show the highlight this is half size you can change the circle you can change it to square or rectangle or you can change the color to any color of your choice by just clicking on this you should be able to choose a given color for the highlight okay it's very easy and fantastic and comes in handy when you are explaining some key points in your tutorial you can increase the size from here or decrease it accordingly so i prefer to have it at full size this is half size and you can enable visual click options like the left and right click you can enable them and you should def you can be able to define how they are going to look like and set them up so feel free to try this this is cursor effect you say okay and then you can come to the options again and go to audio options you get the option to select the microphone and the speaker options so you just click on microphone and you'll be able to select what microphone you want to use for the recording i use rode nt usb so i select rode nt usb you can play around with the volume over here you have a range of comp controls the recording volume you can play around with with it okay you can increase or decrease accordingly and at any given point, once you increase or decrease, it's going to affect the settings over there. Okay, so this is uh, audio settings, the mic setting. So this is the mic setting, everything over here, you can leave it at default, but you can check in cases you want to uh, add on anything. So this is mic setting or audio settings. You come back to options and you can go back to audio. And then this time around, you specify what speakers you want to use. You have an external speaker and added a microphone or a headset that you want to be hearing or the define the output of the audio from you can say apple device or you can use road anti usb also as the output device or if you have any external device connected you can easily specify it from there and you can specify the recording line configuration over here i don't usually touch anything like 
here and I set it to speakers, Apple audio device as the speakers that I'm going to use. And then still on the options, on the audio options, you still have the audio and video synchronization. You can synchronize the video and audio in cases if they are not synchronized. Do not record audio. This is default. You can record audio from microphone that you have specified by just selecting this. It has taken it. It's going to record the audio from the specified microphone and record audio from a speaker if you want. Enable auto pan speed. Automatically stop recording. If you want all these, you can specify. These are very simple, simple features and settings that you can set before you start recording language you can set the language english or german you can go ahead and select any of them accordingly so these options you can come to tools you can have screen annotations if you have any shapes or any particular annotation you want to add video annotation you can add and then these are effects if you have any effects annotations you can add effects you have the view options this is the normal view you have you can have compact and buttons view okay you can select accordingly and if you are starting your set everything to your test you can just go ahead and start recording your screen for example you can come to the file over here and click on record and right now it has started recording your screen you can see let's just do some basic things for example you can come over here and you can check on something for example let's say we we'll go to canva website from here okay right now we are recording the screen you can see you can, you can sign in to Canva and do some basic editing over here. All right. So this is your Canva. Uh, this is basic editing. So I think at this point, if you are certain with what you're doing, you want to stop the editing. You can just come down and select your Cam Studio and just go ahead, come to file and just say you can have the option to pause or to exit or to stop the recording. So at this point, I want to stop the recording. And it's going to stop the recording and give me the option to save this video in .avi somewhere, for example. And the default location is my Cam Studio videos, which is located in my document. I can just give it a name. For example, I can say my trial video and then go ahead and save it. All right. So that video is saved in .avi. So you can visit it to see what you have saved. You can come to my trial video. You can see it over here. It has just recorded which is in quick access or you can come to my desktop over here and you can see my cam studio videos you just click and you can see the video you have just recorded just directly it has recorded and exported it in video form so let's try to play it you can select the player let's say we we'll go with vlc and just click on ok and right now it has started recording your screen you can see let's just do some basic things for example you can come over here uh, you can check on something, for example, let's say we go to Kent. So you can see the recording has done been done perfectly, and this is uh, very easily done and saved uh, on your computer, very nicely done. So feel free to just try it, go ahead and download and install it and try to set in all the features that I have just explained and just try to record your screen. It gives you perfect recording with the specified device, output device everything is going to work fantastic so ladies and gentlemen this is a bit about how to use cam studio as a screen recorder if you enjoyed this video please remember to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to always hit the subscribe and notification buttons to stay connected to this channel for more videos like this i'll see you in my next video bye